Good morning, it's Mark Leibovitz uh, from the Leibovitz VR newsletters, vrtrader.com. This is a Monday morning tutorial here on eSignal. Uh, we're now uh, proud to announce that eSignal is a sponsor of our Wall Street Rock radio program. So go to gcnlive.com and you can hear archives of the show or come in uh, and check the show Saturday mornings at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. Here we're going to look at the uh, leap of the going reversal indicator, uh, an example of uh, trades that we took on Friday at vrtrader.com using e signal and our leap of the going reversal. Uh, this indicator is available here on e signal in three versions. We have the sequential, which covers all positive and negative volume reversals. Uh, the directional, which filters out repetitive volume reversals, and our two-day version, which operates on the premise that following a positive or negative VR, you tend to get movement in that respective direction for a couple of trading days. A free trial is available to the leave of volume reversal indicator package, so I encourage you to sign up. After that, there is a $99 a month uh, fee. Uh, jumping into the uh, Charts, uh, there were two stocks that we jumped in on Friday, both uh, the um, recipient of news. Uh, this is uh, Wynn Resorts we're looking at here with the leave of it positive arm reversal. But let's uh, check the news story. Uh, Las Vegas Sands uh, gained ground along with um, Wynn on Friday uh, after the Chinese government pledged support to Macau's economy. Ling Sang, the head of the Chinese government's liaison office in Macau, said the central government is considering plans to support Macau's economy in all aspects, according to the South China Morning Post. Also, um, there was another story uh, we're looking at here at the Vice Newsletter uh, report, which we put out as Comptern Report every week. Um, there was also a story about the um, South Koreans coming in and supporting uh, potentially supporting the stocks. Here we go. Uh, South Korea had issued two more casino licenses and Viet Vietnam okays one as well. So um, this also encouraged the uh, players in Las Vegas Sands and Wynn thinking they would be a benefit of this story as well. So that all came out on Friday, but technically here's what was happening. Uh, during the morning, we opened up strong. Volume was running at a pace ahead of that of Thursday, and it was clear a volume reversal was forming about midday. It was clear it was. We jumped in. We had a rising 5.3 stochastic, and as you can see here, it had been improving a few days ahead of time. Now, we're looking at a stock that's way, way down. I don't have to tell you the story. Here, let's put up the monthly uh, chart of when. I mean, we're looking at a stock that's from $250 a share down to $50. Um, you talk about reverting to the mean. I mean, you've got a 50-month moving average here at $140. If you look at the uh, weekly chart, uh, reverting to the mean, you've got a 50-week uh, moving average around $124. Uh, if we're looking at the uh, daily chart, going back to the daily chart, uh, even conservatively, you've got a 50-day moving average around $80. So, I mean, there is potential here for more follow-through, and that's why we jumped in. Let's put up uh, Las Vegas Sands, which was also uh, a sympathetic play here, as you know, I just mentioned a moment ago. So we jumped into both of them, both generated leave a bit positive volume reversals. We're still long. We have a rising stochastic uh, after such a huge down move for so many months. Um, I know it was news related, but we're going to go with the signal, and I, I'm betting that overall we should see some further follow through. So that's pretty much the plan for Las Vegas Sands and Win, which were big news stories on Friday. And I've been you know, looking for another entry point here. But you know, if you're looking at the chart here, just in terms of uh, theory, you can see that there's a nice correlation with the negative uh, volume reversal. So I'm so pleased to see a positive come in uh, offering us a trade. So we're up but nicely. Uh, on the trade for VRTrader.com clients, but uh, here at eSignal, certainly uh, the uh, formation of that signal helped us get long. So in terms of uh, our services, uh, very briefly here, uh, leave it to VR newsletters, VRTrader.com. We offer a series of uh, newsletters. You're probably familiar with those already. Uh, let's uh, look over those for you. The silver, which is our daily market commentary, our platinum, which is our daily plus individual recommendations. That's where we put up the Las Vegas Sands and the win. We have our gold letter, which covers natural resources as well as gold. Our forecaster report, which comes out at the beginning of every year, which is our cyclical report for the year, which uh, pinpointed the uh, downtrend into the summer. 
advice letter it covers cannabis stocks among gaming, alcohol, and tobacco stocks as well, and a whole bunch of other plays, including names like Tesla, uh, which is a vice, uh, and of course the Trader's Book of Volume, which is my definitive guide to volume uh, trading. Again, the Wall Street World Radio Show, uh, hosted by eSignal, is uh, live uh, 10 a.m. Eastern on Saturday morning, so I encourage you to check in. And I certainly want you to take a look at eSignal here. Sign up for a free trial if you haven't done so already. Powerful tool, tool which I've used for 35 years. And again, as you can see from the uh, examples I just showed you, when volume comes in and we generate a VR, we generally play that momentum on a short-term basis. So appreciate you checking in, and uh, we'll catch you on the next update.